Well guys, they're calling for some more snow, so I got the dually in the shop here. Uh, just doing some, some greasing to this thing. Uh, every uh, bigger storm we have, I like to, to grease up this center pin really good. And there is two grease points on the plow too. Uh, right there and right there, there's two grease points. Uh, now those are regular grease fittings. Uh, the, the center pin doesn't have grease fittings, they just have holes. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole. And you need a, a special little grease tip to, to get grease inside this pin and I'll show you uh, what I use. Okay guys, so here's a normal grease fitting end. They go on a, a grease cert right there and uh, you pump grease into it, but this plow doesn't have that and what I use is something like this. It's just got a pointed end on it, you stick it in that hole and you fill it with grease. Uh, the reason they don't have grease certs on that center pin is uh, they would never last. Uh, something would shear them off. Okay guys, so you can see she's all greased up. Kind of makes a greasy mess, but uh, I would rather have a greasy mess than a worn out pin. Uh, one other thing I like to do before I just head out plowing is I like to cycle the plow through uh, full V and full scoop a couple times to uh, spread all that uh, grease around on the pin. I do a lot of dirt plowing so uh, I do this quite often. I don't want to get a bunch of sand inside that pin and uh, wear it out prematurely. If you're doing a lot of pavement running, probably don't need to grease it quite as much, but uh, I like to keep mine uh, nice and lubed. So all we are waiting on now is some snow.